Arsenal 0, Burnley 1. Let's see why Arsenal lost this game. It's a relegation battle. Let's start with this scene here. The game just started and this is not the Burnley goal. This is Arsenal's goal. Burnley has five players pressing against five Arsenal players. The only thing that Leno can do here is play it long or you try to find Bellerin. But it's a difficult ball to control and we lose it. Again, long ball to Bellerin. He tries to control it and loses it. Again, it looks like we are playing futsal or some pickup game. I mean, this can't be wanted by Arteta, right? This is not, this is not thought through. Leno is going to play it long. If you don't play it short, you're taking out four to five players from the game. You see Gabriel on the, on the left, holding is next to you. Elneny and Jaka drop so deep they are inside our own box. Bellerin is on the right wing. Five players who could also be in midfield if Leno wants to hit it long. He decides to hit it long and they, they are now missing in, in midfield. Even if Lacazette somehow controls the ball, there are no options for him to play the ball. It looks like it's been practiced in training um, because um, we saw this a couple of times in the game. I guess it's to, to create a quick three against three playing the ball behind the midfielders, but it was highly ineffective um, during the whole game. Let's have a look on our defending on simple crosses from open play and corners. Uh, you see two Burnley players are running towards our defense and we have holding on the left, covering for Tierney. And he's showing to Tierney, hey, go, go and put some pressure on that guy so he's not able to cross the ball. And same goes for Xhaka. That's a 1-0. Again, no disrespect to Burnley, but you have to score this. Okay, let, let's come back and let's have a look at Gabriel. Gabriel knows Bellerin is next to him. The instant the Burnley player crosses the ball, Gabriel decides to play offside game. But there is still Bellerin, who is not thinking the same and is marking his man. Second, your man is onside. And you leave him all alone in front of the goal. This has to be the 1-0 for Burnley. We are lucky he couldn't head it properly. So next topic is playing out from the back with easy passing. So the player in focus here is Gabriel. He can play it to Tierney. He decides to go to the center towards Saka and loses the ball. Another one. Simple ball towards Tierney. Very unprecise. Holding has the ball. He is flanked by three Burnley players. Very dangerous situation. If you lose the ball here, it's probably a goal. This is the area where Holding can play the ball. Gabriel just has to support him by running into that area. The ball is going to end up somewhere here. The Burnley player left on the screen, uh, he is aware of what's going on over there and starts to run. Let's see who will get the ball first. So Holding plays the ball. Gabriel is too late. Other teams punish you for this. Manchester City, Liverpool, that would have been the 2-0, if not earlier. So if you want to pass it here, you have to be precise. If not, just shoot it long and get the ball out of the danger area. Let's see what Gabriel does. He plays it right into the feet of a Burnley player. In the center of the midfield, he sees the Burnley player is already running towards Saka. Very sloppy very very sloppy but it wasn't only Gabriel here it's Lacazette he looks for the one two with El Neni and right to the Burnley player same with Ainsley same with Ceballos he had a really bad game we continue with bad passing we focus on the right wing um, so it's Bellerin and Villian and occasionally holding is also moving to the right trying to uh, find a passing option let's see how that worked out gets the ball looks for Bellerin misses William tries a first touch pass and Bellerin is not quick enough no words no words William um, 
I mean, this is just horrible. So what is Bellerin known for? For his speed. And if Bellerin lost his speed, then there is nothing left. Next topic, why can't we score? Let's have a look in our attacking game. This is Aubameyang running towards the defense. Um, left on his side is Saka. And this is why we cannot score. Sloppy, just sloppy passes. This time it's Lacazette. You can expect that an Arsenal player can play this ball right into Aubameyang, who is the fastest player on this planet, apparently. Let's see what Lacazette is going to do. This is just interesting attack. Um, Granit Xhaka has the ball in midfield, surrounded by five Bernie players. You see Bellerin and Lacazette running towards uh, their goal. Aubameyang is coming towards uh, Xhaka and with him two of their defenders. This is actually a clever play. You want to pull the defenders out of their position to make some space uh, for your colleagues. So Aubameyang drops, runs towards Xhaka, opens some space. Burnley's number six is aware so he runs back into position. But this is a clever play by Granit Xhaka and Aubameyang because now you created a three against three. Um, which looks pretty good for Arsenal. Lacazette drifts too much to the left for my taste. I would have gone maybe straight towards goal, but um, he uh, looks for a Saka who cannot control the ball, but Tierney is there, passes back to Lacazette. Let's stop it here. You have to score this. You have to score this. No excuse. If you're an Arsenal striker, or midfielder or goalkeeper, you have to score this. Brilliant save though by the Burnley keeper. Saka has the ball, looks for Aubameyang. Brilliant first touch. Two options. You can go for, I think it's Enketia. That's actually an easy ball. If you sit with your left foot, play it right here. Be sure Enketia is going to score. Second option would be controlling the ball first and maybe um, look to gain a better uh, angle from there, which he's gonna, gonna do. But um, yeah, very interesting position here. Let's, uh, let's first analyze what we see. We see four defenders, the ball is in the air. Tierney is gonna get the ball, right? You see Aubameyang Saka. And I want you to um, observe Lacazette and William, especially uh, Lacazette. So Tierney is going to get the ball and play it right into Aubameyang's um, path uh, with a nice uh, quick turn. Did you see that? Okay, let's come back. So Aubameyang gets the ball. Let's stop it here. Lacazette is still standing. He will run, but you tell me if that run is a 100% I have to go into the box run or I just run uh, a 50% and let's see what's going to happen. Aubameyang has no time to look for a pass, to look for an option. And he has options. You guess. The perfect ball would be into this area. But Lacazette is too far away. William is too far away. The only path Aubameyang can play the ball is this path, where he has Tierney, Saka, Lacazette and William. There is no one creating the danger inside the box if Aubameyang has the ball on the wing. Let's see what Aubameyang is going to do. He finds the first man in this line and this is Tierney. Gets a shot with his weaker foot, which is not dangerous at all. Another player who had a terrible, terrible game was Saka on the left wing. His passing was horrible. Too weak, loses the ball. Again, too weak. Again, you look for Aubameyang. Simple, a simple pass. Um, not gonna happen. Uh, next topic, crosses. We tried every option to cross the ball. High. 
low, short, in the back of the defense, nothing worked out. It was always too unprecise. Xhaka did a stupid foul, which led to a little fight between him and the Burnley player. Number 18 just jumped in to, you know, separate those players. He was not actually going towards Xhaka. Xhaka thought he was being pushed by him and he grabbed him by his throat. Someone should explain this behavior. Is a, this is a disgrace. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to see Granit Xhaka in an Arsenal shirt anymore. Never again. Yeah, that's a red card, guys. No discussion. This is a clear red card. Ten minutes later, we see this corner for Burnley. I'm wondering what El Nani is doing there. Let's stop it right there. This is El Nani's hand under the chin of the Burnley player, pushing him away inside our own box. Granit Xhaka just got a red card ten minutes ago. What are you doing? What are you actually doing? This is stupid. This is ridiculously stupid. I guess the referee felt pity for us. That's why he only got yellow. Here you see Leno pushing, wrestling with the Burnley striker and um, with Ballerine together, so tag team. So the cross comes in. Let's, let's stop it here. The ball is somewhere here. Before it gets there, it should have been punched away by Leno. Let's see what happened. He cannot get there because Bellerin, he's actually holding him off and Leno is still wrestling with uh, Barnes, Burnley's number 10. We are lucky that they didn't score from here. Here's the goal and um, remember what we saw on the previous corner, wrestling again with Bellerin and um, Burnley player. Look, the ball is in the air. He is still pushing. Now he has to go back to his line into position. There is no chance for Leno to get this ball if he's moving to the right. Let's come to player ratings. Leno won. Passing out of the bag was poor. He put his uh, teammates under a lot of pressure and his aerial command was also very, very poor. Holding uh, with a five. Um, he actually had a good game, uh, strong tackles, uh, good positioning. Also his passing in the build-up game um, was okay. Gabriel, zero. Uh, worst player next to Xhaka. Um, his passing was so bad, not even Division 3 standard. I mean, it, he gave the ball away so many times. It could have been 2-0 or 3-0. And defensively also very bad, his marking was bad. Uh, always one step away from his man. Uh, he had a nightmare and he shouldn't start the next match. Um, David Luiz should start from the beginning because um, obviously Gabriel is not the right guy for Arteta if you want to play out from the back um, with this amount of uh, mistakes in passing uh, Gabriel did. Tierney gets a two, very poor game. Poor crosses, missed a lot of passes, had some good tackles every now and then, but um, no threat going uh, forward. The cross is very unprecise. Bellerin, I don't think there's anything left um, to say for Bellerin anymore. Um, he gets a one. Um, he is not Premier League quality. Um, bad touch, no dribbling um, qualities whatsoever very poor in defense and also going forward um, no threat at all he got five yellow cards now and he won't start for the next match um, against southampton uh, el nenny was okay uh, some good passes good work rate um, always look for a quick uh, pass for the transition into attacking game but uh, not effective enough he gets a four granny jaka zero um, stupid red card Good thing is he will probably miss the next three matches. Lacazette gets a two. Um, he should have scored from that one position. Um, in general, not uh, effective enough, not dangerous enough um, in attack. Saka, one. Too many missed passes. Probably his worst performance in an Arsenal shirt. 
he was just not focused enough, very careless with his passes and uh, gave away the ball too many times. Uh, William also won. Um, his partnership with Bellerin on the right wing is uh, obviously not working. He had also many missed passes, gave away the ball too many times, bad crossing. Um, he shouldn't start next match. Aubameyang was poor again. He had one or two okay moments, but in general he never looked like he's going to score. Uh, looks lazy, not energetic enough. He gets a two. Ceballos, zero. Terrible game. Also, again, missed so many simple passes, poor tackling, he didn't do anything right. Ainsley um, looked okayish, but um, a bit sloppy with his passing, um, still very technical and looked energetic. He gets a two. And Katia didn't show any threat, one. Arteta, zero. I, I wonder how he's still the manager. Um, this was, again, a very poor display. And I'm talking before red card. Um, there was no threat going forward. There is no idea how to go into attack from our transition game. If you want to play the ball from the back, there is no idea how to bring the ball to the forwards. And we saw early in the game that Burnley is going to press high. So Arteta had no plan B and continued with playing out from the back, which put us in, into very uh, dangerous situations. Attacking game is non-existent. Arteta just hopes that the quality of a single player will bring him into a good position to score. But this is the wrong approach against any Premier League team. The only strategy we saw today was a 5 versus 5 in our own box and then hit it wide to the opposite players. So that's it guys. That's how we lost to Burnley. Thanks for watching. See you next time.